Last up is Lemisra. Yes, Principal. Lemisra, I know all too well how hard you've been working to overcome your previous failings with summoning spells. I can't go easy when it comes to grading, but don't worry. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll pass. Right. I won't let you down. I'll meet or exceed your expectations, Principal Moduline. The Mizera cast a summoning spell. A powerful dragon appeared, somehow. What? You summoned a dragon for an elementary summoning exam? And a great dragon at that. Only advanced spells are capable of such a feat. <laughs> what do you think, ma'am? See, I was trying to surprise you and... The dragon began to rampage. Its unbridled rage could not be... Uh, could not be controlled. Huh? You fool! There's no way a student of your grade could control such a high-level dragon. But I just wanted to live up to your expectations. Don't lose focus. The dragon is about to strike. The dragon bared its large fangs, getting ready to attack. The miser was looking at certain death. Mizra! I probably mispronounced her name in several different ways. Transform! Oh god. It's the only, it's the only, it's the only thing. And that happened. Things just fall here for some reason. Anything for my buddies. You're going to die. You have the right to a lawyer. So are you. Of all the pre mortem one liners, that's uh. That one's kind of out there. I'm, I'm sorry, this is still bugging me. Why does the dragon sound like uh, an eagle? Why, why does the dragon sound like an eagle? Two. He got two. Let's, uh, let's move that death away from the rest of the group. Did he just say, I am an awesome ninja? Prepare yourself! Good, he only hit one person. My name lives on in infamy. Unfortunately, the lore is now dead. <laughs> so it's basically killing him now or risk more death. I shouldn't have too much of an issue. Just have the people that don't do a lot go first. That should do it. I'm hoping. Here I come! Also good on the new dragon for living this long. This is great. Nice. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> oh, hey, the zombie was out this entire time and did nothing. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Amazing. We did it! The dragon has been defeated! Yes! We overcame fate and looked magnificent doing it as defenders of justice! Lemisra, are you all right? Um, are you... Miss Majoline? Uh, well, yes. I became a magical girl and returned here from the future. You've gotten quite a bit younger, but you definitely seem to be Principal Majoline. That means... you're me. And... I'm... I'm you? Ding, 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 ding. Th this can't be true. I must be dreaming or something. And she's dead. <laughs> Principal Magdalene couldn't handle reality and passed out. Rip. <laughs> I can't believe Magdalene's fucking Mr. dead. I'm truly, truly glad that you're all right. Thank you, ma'am. I can't believe you became a magical girl and came back from the future to save me. You're amazing. Perhaps, but I can't exactly serve as a proper role model for the students looking like this. Uh, that's not true. You look really cute, ma'am. Cute? You shouldn't go around teasing the 10,000-year-old woman, you know. <laughs> oh my, Modeline, look how you're blushing. You're so adorable! <laughs> well, Cerberus, see? We tore that stupid fate a new one. No. It's impossible to change fate. Huh? What do you mean? Those who are destined to die cannot escape death. No matter what, the wheels of fate never stray. They simply continue turning without mercy nor hesitation. It's unfortunate, but nobody can defy destiny. You know, I was gonna say something, but... I don't want to kill the mood. Lamesera, how could this happen? Why did things turn out the same? I told you, didn't I? Fate cannot be changed. Full stop. Like hell it can't! You think we're just gonna sit down and buy that crap? That's right. With our powers combined, destiny doesn't stand a chance. My thoughts exactly. I refuse to let this tragic ending stand. If proof is what you want, you need look no further than what just happened. <sighs> I, too, had someone I wished to save. I gave my all struggling for that very purpose. But in the end... The result was no different from what we saw here. Destiny could not be changed. And I could not save her from fate's cruel design. La Misera. I don't care. I'm gonna do it anyway. I have to! of fate. Not even super reincarnation, potent as it is, can interfere with it. No! I wanted to save her this time. I was certain I could do it. But yet again, 
I was unable to prevent La Misera from suffering such a merciless death. I... I... Uh, watch out! The dragon is about to attack us! Something's wrong with Modeline. Your Majesty, Peori, we'll have to hold it off ourselves. Roger that. Leave it to me. All right. I'll show you the power of bribery. I don't think the dragon's gonna take your fucking money! I'm so powerless. A hopeless fool who can't even protect what's truly important to her. How long are you gonna sulk there like that? Come on, get up and fight! Leave me be. I've lost my will to fight. So you're just gonna give up after only one or two failures? No matter how hard I try, the results won't change. If I cannot defy fate, I may as well just join La Misera in. Death? <laughs> yeah, dying would definitely be easier, huh? Tell me. Was it all just talk when you were going on and on about wanting to protect your precious students? <laughs> you were expecting to change fate with so little resolve? Don't make me laugh. Silence! As if you could ever possibly understand how I feel! Yeah, you're right. I don't understand. I don't understand why someone would punk out and accept the unacceptable. And you know what? I don't want to. I absolutely refuse to give in. I'll get back up as many times as I need to, and keep fighting. After all, that's the only way I can ever save Biko! Save Biko? What are you talking about? I thought you said your sister was killed by the God of Destruction. Biko wasn't killed by the God of Destruction. Biko is the God of Destruction. <laughs> okay! <laughs> um. Okay, um, well, first off, this is the exact same thing, but... Leave it to me. I, I expected a lot of things. It could be... But, you know, not that. Holy shit, Jake jumped up in level so fast. Nice. 20% chance. I'll go for it. Okay. Yeah, 20%. Wow, well, it's half dead, and it can't use... Uh, skills, so, uh, it's basically defanged. Okay, uh, this is gonna be easier than the last time. So much. Still gonna keep trying to steal that. For 25%. That's, that's, that's decent, all things considered. Also, its resistance is one, so, um... Yeah, you know what? If it gets uh, far enough that Magdalene's gonna hit her, I'll be very, very okay. surprised. <laughs> Holy shit, I actually got it! Oh wow, that's how many extra attacks? Hand over thy life. Heading out. Target acquired.
It actually survived all of that. And then that's four attacks that get that go nowhere. <laughs> Nobody died! Nobody died! Bingo. It's me! It's Bobby! Don't you recognize me, Biko? How? How did she end up like this? Biko. In so much pain. But just you wait. Bubby's gonna save you in a jiffy, got it? They got a destruction attack full on. Zed took one billion damage. I'd protect her. I won't give up. I swear. In that case, you must seek power, Zed. Cerberus. In order for a weak zombie like you to defeat the strongest god of destruction, super reincarnation is your only option. Through super reincarnation, you will gain the power to achieve your desire, no matter how many times you die trying. However, it's a path of pure carnage. You'll have to endure tens of thousands of deaths. Are you willing to do that? I don't know what that all means. But if I can save Biko, I'll do it. No matter what it takes, I don't care what happens to me. So give me the power I need to save Biko from her suffering. As you wish. So, uh, huh? Biko's the god of destruction. How can this be? All this time you've been fighting, Zed. You've been shouldering this agony all on your own. Tell me, how can I be of aid? Isn't there some way to turn people? People, people. Biko back to how she was. I'll do anything. Anything at all. If Biko wants how, I'll even let you be Prism Red. Temporarily. <laughs> if it will give you strength, said, I'll transform into a magical girl. Or anything you might need. I'll do whatever I can as well. Our happy ending has plenty of room for Biko too. Guys, you're really something. Why bother getting all worked up over the problems of some rando? You are not just some rando, Prince Zed. You are my fiancé, remember? The multicolored threads of the Prism Rangers bind us together. Frivolity aside, don't you think it's a bit too late to push us away, given all we've been through together? I, for one, have seen enough tragic fates to last me a lifetime. Haven't you, Zed? Jeez. I knew it. You guys are all wackos. Appreciate the offer and all, but... There's nothing we can do to save her. The best thing we can do for Biko is to bring all of this to an end. Well, uh... We're at chapter 9. It's only chapter 9. It always goes into double digit chapters. I will be heavily surprised if it uh, stops now. Biko is the god of destruction? I can hardly believe it. Or Zed. Or Biko. <laughs> 
Is there any way to turn Pico back? I'll spare no expense. Unfortunately, no. Once one has reached her state, they can do little else than unleash utter destruction till they die. Also, their screenshots were none... None past Biko is speaking. Why is the god of destruction here? This is supposed to be the past. Hmm. Perhaps Zed and Biko's feelings resonated during the last super reincarnation, which brought it here and now. What? Oh, wait a minute. Zed and Biko's feelings. Does that mean that the god of destruction, that Biko, is conscious of her actions? Correct. Though she's physically dead since her body was absorbed into the God of Destruction, Biko is still conscious. B but then that means... Yeah. Every time she went on a rampage, Biko, kind as she was, killed me. It's been tens of thousands of times. I can't think of anything that would cause her more suffering. I've got to stop Biko. Stop that thing for her sake. Zed, I had no idea you were carrying around so much pain and sadness. And you're absolutely right. After hearing a story like that, I can't give up after only a few failures. You're telling me I need to keep fighting until I'm able to change fate, correct? My word. That's a rather tall order to give someone my age. But said, you do realize you're heading for a grisly death? <laughs> of course I do. Besides, the way I'm gonna kick it is already set in stone. All right, I've got my resolve back. I'll find a way to change the past and fate. Someday, I will save La Misera. So, Trey! Girl, magnificent Majoline is on the scene. Twirl! Is there a reason we're killing the mood? Whoa! I'm getting a stronger surge of magic power than ever before. <laughs> Zed. Zed. Hear that voice from before. Stop him. The only one who can stop him is you. Him? The only one I'm here to stop is Biko. And I don't need to be told to do that by anyone. Huh? Him? Zed? What's the matter? This is no time to be spacing out. Right. Biko. I'm gonna put an end to it this time. No, I, uh... I don't... I, I'm not... No, I've, I've just got something in my eyes. Some sort of salty me. water. Okay, so you went from sticking something up a monster's butthole to kicking something right in the in the testicles, and, and you're from a kids show. And there I go complaining about the mood being killed. to a standstill. We can win this! To be honest, even I'm rather surprised to see that we may actually defeat it. But if we do, we go. That's right. If she really is the god of destruction, we'll be taking her down too. That's not your problem. Just focus on beating it. Prince said, are you really okay with that? Ugh. 
Why are you hesitating, Zed? Wasn't putting Biko to rest what you truly desired? Of course it is! I'm gonna do it! Just you watch! Biko? Hesitated at the very last moment, didn't you, Zed? Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Why did I hesitate? Why couldn't I lay Biko to rest? I could see that she was suffering. Is that all the resolve I've got? Why did I bother coming this far? Damn it! What was I thinking? Biko. I'm sorry. So, uh, huh. again, we're still not done with that. And thus, because we hesitated upon hearing Biko's voice, we fell to the God of Destruction. That concludes the testimony of Majoline, Witch of the Abyss. <laughs> To think that the God of Destruction's true identity was actually Rico all along. Why don't you just tear my heart out? She must have felt so much pain. She must have felt so much sorrow. I... I... <sighs> Are you crying again? Who wouldn't be brought to tears after hearing this? She's got a point. However, compared to how you must feel, Zed, this is no time for me to cry. Well? Has this convinced you to believe us? <laughs> Why, I believed you all along. Bullshit! Zed, from the very beginning, the great overlord Ivar could tell that you were no old. Oh, bullshit. Thank you. Now, come, let us hear the conclusion of your story. Uh, of course, you did end up saving Pico, didn't you? Uh... Zed, I'm sure it would be too painful for you to tell the rest yourself. For the finale to our story, I shall be the one to testify. <laughs> it's gonna get worse? Are you sure about that? Well. <laughs> Okay, so I can say at this point that the story is definitely a step up from the Sky of Five. Um, it's at the very least not as predictable. So that's a good positive. It's like, it's not as predictable, the characters are more interesting, and I can't name them off of... I, I, I can't assign them a single trope name and go, Oh yes, that's Tim! That's the smart guy, and that's the dumb guy, and that's... The dumb muscle guy, yes, yeah, uh, I, I don't feel I could, I would be able to do that. At least not accurately. I've, I've, I don't have much else. This has been, uh, good. And, well, we'll see where the story goes from here, because I don't imagine there's a whole lot. Well, anywho, until next time, try not to, uh, cry too hard on the way out. Later. Stumble by and disappear.